Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about what multiplicative inverse means and how it is going to be used in our cryptography. So, the basics to understand these concepts was discussed in our discrete mathematics playlist, Group Theory Concepts. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, our explanation is completely based on the assumption you already have the basics from Group Theory. So, multiplicative inverse. First, we, we move on to multiply. Before we move on to multiplicative inverse, let's refresh few concepts that very helpful for us. Zn. This is the symbol used to give set of all residue modulo n. For suppose, if you take Z10, means what's the elements that present in Z10? 0 to 9. Means residue modulo 10 means what are the values that you are going to get for modulus value of 10? 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. That is what, that's why Z10 is the set of all residue modulo n elements. 0 to 9. If it is Z26, what are the elements you are having? 0 to 25. Z29, 0 to 28. These are the values you are having for Z10. Now, let us try to understand the additive inverse concept. Then we will move on to the multiplicative inverse for better understanding. You take the set of elements Z10, means all the elements from 0 to 9 and the binary operation is addition modulus operation, addition modulo operation. What is that addition modulo, uh, modulo operation means? Uh, so you have to add two elements and do the modulus of 10. That is what addition modulo operation means. Uh, see, in this set of elements uh, and this binary operation, the identity element is uh, for addition in this set of elements for Z10 and the, um, and the operation is addition. For addition operation, what is the in identity element? For addition operation, identity element is 0. Why we call identity element as 0 for addition operation? Means if you take 1, 1 plus 0 modulus 10, which is 1. So, 1 plus identity element modulus 10, you are going to get same element 1. If you take 2, 2 plus 0 modulus 10, which is 2. So, by adding with the identity element, you will get the same number. That we call it as identity element. Adding with 0, you will get the same number. So, that is why 0 is the identity element for addition operation, addition modulo operation. So, from this identity element, we are going to identify the inverse element. Inverse element means if you take, uh, suppose if you take, uh, if you want to find the inverse element for 1. So, what is the inverse element for 1 in addition modulo? So, if you want to get the inverse element 10 minus 1 which is 9. So, inverse element for 1 is 9. Why 9 is inverse element? Why we are calling it as inverse element? So, our actual element is 1, 1 plus 9 which is 10, 10 modulo 10. 0, you are getting the identity element. 1 plus 9 modulo 10 is equal to 0. That is why 1 and 9 are inverse elements. So, that is what the concept of inverse element means. Now, we are going to use the multiplicative inverse. What is meant by multiplicative inverse? Take Z10, same elements. We are taking the Z10 means all the residue modulo of 10 and here we are using multiplication modulo operation. So, what is multiplication modulo operation means? Multiply two numbers modulus with 10. That is what multiplication modulo operation. So, for multiplication modulo operation, what is the identity element for multiplication? Identity element is equal to 1. Yes, you take any number. 1 multiplied by 1 modulus 10, 1. If you take 2, 2 multiplied by 1, 2, modulus 10, 2. If you take 5, 5 multiplied by 1, modulus 10, which is 5, you are getting the same number multiplied by 1, you are getting the same number. That is why 1 is the identity element for multiplication modulo value. 
Similarly, if you want to identify the inverse element, inverse of 3 is 7. If you take the element 3, what is the inverse of it? 3 multiplied by 7, 7 3 is 21, 21 modulus 10 which is 1. So, 3 and 7 are inverse element because 3 multiplied by 7 modulus 10 is equal to 1. Why we got 1? 1 is the identity element. So, multiplication of two numbers, if you got the identity element, those two numbers are inverse elements. So, 3 is 7, inverse of 3 is 7 in multiplication modulo. This is what the inverse element for multiplication modulo. And one important point you need to understand here, you take any number here, in addition modulo, we are having inverse for all the elements. If you take 1, 9 is the inverse. If you take 2, 8 is the inverse. If you take 3, 7 is the inverse. But in multiplication modulo operation, inverse element does not exist for all the elements. Let us try to understand this. If you take 2, inverse element does not exist for multiplication modulo because you check the element. 2 ones. If you, if you if you think that 1 is inverse element, no, it is not inverse. 2 ones 2 modulus 10, not 1. 1 is the identity element for multiplication operation. So, 2 and 1 are not inverse elements. If you take 3, 2, 3 is 6, 6 modulus 10, 6. So, 2 and 3 is also not inverse element. 2 fourths, 8 modulus 10, not not equal to 1. 8 modulus 10 means 8. So, 2 fives, 10, 10 modulus 10, 0, 0 is not an identity element. 2 6, 12, 2 sevens, 14, 14 modulus 10, 4 is the, so 4 is not the identity element. 2 eights, 2 16, 2 nines, 18, so 2 for number 2, we do not have the inverse element in multiplication modulo. So, which numbers we are going to have inverse element? Only few of the numbers will have the inverse element. So, which numbers will have the inverse element means if you want to find the inverse element, inverse to element A exists only if GCD of A comma N is equal to 1. Let us take it. 2. GCD of 2 comma N means 10. GCD of 2 comma 10 is not equal to 1. GCD of 2 comma 10 is 2. If you take 3, 3 comma 10, GCD of 3 comma 10 is 1. So, that is why inverse element exists for 3. So, inverse element in multiplication modulo exists only for those numbers which are having a GCD of A comma N equal to 1. Then only inverse element exists. This is the basic mathematics from modulo operations and group theory. So, now we are going to use this multiplicative inverse concept in cryptography. So, before move on to how we are going to use this, let us refresh this uh, Z26 is taken here. Why we are taking Z26? In our last classes, when we discussed the additive cipher technique, uh, for each character we have assigned some numbers. Z26 means total, how many numbers will be there? 0 to 25. 0 is assigned as A, 1 is assigned as B, 2 is assigned as C. Like that all the alphabets has been given numbers. So, that is why we are taking Z26 means residue modulo 26. So, what numbers we are having from residue modulo 26 means 0 to 25. Each number is assigned a character. So, now inverse of 3 is 9 in Z26. Z26 multiplication modulo operation. If you take the element 3, the inverse element for 3 is 9. Why? Because 9 is the inverse element. 9, 3 is 27. 27 modulo 26, 1. So, the inverse of 3 is 9. Now, coming to the concept of multiplicative inverse in cryptography. So, let us take, uh, if you take the plain text as hello, what we have done in the cryptography, we are converting this plain text to the cipher text. In order to convert the plain text to the cipher text, here we are using multiplicative inverse concept. So, during the encryption, we assume the key is equal to 3. Key, 
3 is taken as a key. So, how we are converting h means from the numbers h is assigned the number 7, h is given 7. So, during the encryption we, have, we are doing this 7 multiplied by 3 modulus 26. So, 7, 3 is 21, 21 modulus 26 is 21. So, instead of h, instead of h, we are sending 21 means v. So, if you are saying the numbers, v is given as 21. So, instead of h, we are sending v as a cipher text. So, cipher text is reached to the destination. In the destination mobile, we are going to do the decryption. Decryption means instead of H, V has reached to the destination. V means 21. During the, in the destination mobile, decryption will be done. How decryption will be done? 21 multiplied by 3 inverse modulo 26. What is the inverse element for 3 inverse? 21 multiplied by 9. Inverse of 3 is 9 in Z26. So, 9 is the inverse element. 21 nines mod 26. 21 nines means 186 modulus 26, which is 7. 7 means H. So, during the decryption, you got the actual plain text. H is converted to V. V is sent as a dest sent to the destination during the desti in the destination v is converted to h again this is how we are going to use multiplicative inverse concept in our cryptography hope you understand the concept of multiplicative inverse in cryptography if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you